Delay say how we here with um third movement. Want to do a quick video um on this whole abortionist Kermit Gosnell who is said to be having um aborted what it was eight eight babies and then um had a woman die because he did some, some malpractice happened in the when a woman ended up dead. Um actually the the, the, the little page that got in front of you says that he murdered a hundred hundreds of babies, aborted hundreds of babies that was born alive. What's and 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 we know the media is not covering it, and you gotta understand something. The media can't cover this because it'll be, it it'll be bad for media. You know, um, when just about everybody in the media is pro life. When they want abortion, when they want that abortion right, they can't cover this story. They can't. They can't go against what what what. See, the news and the big media is not. It, it it's not what it used to be. Um, it's not what it where it, where it's supposed to be. It never. I think it never has been what it's supposed to be. But if you look at the story, look at look at um some of the big name channels. But I'm not going to. I'm not going to say the names, but. With this whole Boston bombing, they're gonna show this seventy five percent of the day, the Boston bombing, but the real news is gonna be swept under a lot of news like like this whole the Bushness doctor is gonna be swept under the rug. They use that they will use one story and make that story huge and sweep a lot of other the real stories under the un, under under the un, under the rug because of that. And to a certain extent, you know, Americans, we got to understand that nowadays we want news, we got to go looking for it. It's horrible, but that's just the way it is. So, um, we got this story right here of this, this abortionist doctor who murdered eight babies alive and did something wrong in a malpractice and a, and a, and a woman ended up dying. I was reading some reports on it and I was looking at some news reports on it. This man had no respect for life, in, first of all. This man is a monster. I, I don't care how you can even say it any other way. He's a monster and he was worshiping his God. His God was money. Multi-million dollars. Anytime money is involved in, in on a large level, there's corruption. There's a there there's gonna be corruption. In in today's America, there's no way you can you can hide from it. It just it just will be. And but the loss the loss the loss fact of all of this is he Yes, he committed the, the, the abortions, but there was a need. If there was no need, he wouldn't be in he wouldn't have a job. But there was a need. Where's the parents of these babies that got aborted alive? Why are they not charged? Where are the, 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 the mothers and fathers of these babies that got aborted that got aborted alive? He didn't. He didn't go and take people and, and make him make them let him abort the babies. They came in and asked for it. That was a big issue for me. Where the, where are the parents? You know, people people. We can't just just do stuff and hide our hand. He ain't the only one. He shouldn't be the only one that go down for this. And and if there's other doctors that were involved, they should go down. But they shouldn't be the only one. The people who who needed their babies to be aborted should be going down. They should have just as much blame as him. Another thing, money. Where is money coming from? In some of the reports, I read that he said that it was a lot of people that couldn't afford the um the abortions. That got them. Where the money came from? Did it come from Planned Parenthood? Because we do know that Planned Parenthood get a lot of government money. And they say they don't put it towards abortions, but they can't prove that they don't. Hey, we get money from the government. We don't put it up. No, we don't do that. That's not us. Where where the money come from? Let's find a money trail. Let's let's take the money. But let's go back to the money trail and see where it really came from. And the third is, a lot of this was done in the black community it was it was a lot of this done in the black community where the black leaders to step up and, and, and i'm not I'm, talk, I'm not even talking about just the the black leaders but i'm talking about the christian black leaders who are against abortion why you guys are not saying anything about it why come the big time pastors from the pulpit ain't, ain't speaking a word on this hmm is that money trail father will we find you in the money trail 
just a question I'm asking. You know, where's the, the, the Reverend Jesse Jackson that, that this is so wrong and the Reverend Al Sharpton? These are supposed to be our leaders. Where are they? People, and you know what? And what's sad is not the black culture, we still think that 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 the abortion is a myth in the black culture. That, oh, black women are having abortions. It was a black woman on there on, on one, of the, uh, in, one of the interviews I've seen that went to the doctor. She said she went to him for the first one. And then she went to him for the second one. And then she said eight abortions later, she started noticing that her body, some things was going wrong with her body. Okay, pause. Eight abortions later? That's been, that, 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 that's eight abortions? That's crazy. That's not even respect in life. That's, not, that's having no respect for life at all. That's not saying I made a mistake. No, eight abortions later, that's not saying I made a mistake. That's not having respect for the whole process. When, when when women are having eight abortions in in a lifetime, then we have to look at abortion and say, what is it for? We we know it's wrong as a culture. We can't sit up here and say it's not wrong. It's wrong, and then especially when you're having them like that, that's totally wrong. And then they said, um, one of the she said that one of the things they told her is people in the Philippines, women in the Philippines, be having up to twenty one abortions. In a lifetime, 21 abortions. We, we, we don't have no respect for God. We don't have no respect for, for, for life. Satan, Satan is in this industry strong. And, and, we, and we're blind. The black culture, white culture, Spanish culture, all of, we all are having the, the abortion these days. We can't make it a race thing. And you know what's crazy? People got mad when a group of um, uh, people wanted to put up a sign that said, um, the most dangerous place for a, a, a black baby is the womb. It was totally true. It was totally true. Go to blackgenocide.com and look at the numbers of black um, of, of abortion in, in, the, in the black culture. And I'm a black man saying this. So you can't call me racist. I'm talking about my own people. Go, go look it up. It's sad. Terrible. Got to do better. And for us Christians, we got to get over this point of saying, "Oh, people are wrong for having abortion." When we tell them to have the babies, then we send them, and we don't uh, we good, we don't go out and adopt them. I'm calling you out too, Christians. If we say that we against abortion, then we should be pro adoption. If we if we we're against abortion, we got to be pro adoption. So when people are having babies, they don't just go to a system, and then they die in the system. Ain't no different than having an abortion. How are we showing love when we only condemning people? We we have to say, okay, if you're gonna if you're not gonna have abortions, then we're gonna step up and get these kids better lives. And real quick on a tip, if we might have aborted that baby that found the the, the that could have found the 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 cure to AIDS or the cure to cancer. We could have found we could have boarded that that baby that that could have got us out had the, the 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 right plans and the right things to do to get us out of this financial mess. You don't know what we we don't know what we're aborting. We don't know what we're aborting. So let's pray for America. I'm out.